uh, one of the driving forces behind the issue of same-sex marriage is the group called Garden State Equality. Uh, its head, Troy Stevenson, joins us now from Montclair. Troy, give me a sense of, of, of what went through your mind when you heard how this judge had ruled. Uh, it, was, it was amazing news. Um, I got uh, an email from our attorneys, and it was, it was two words and an exclamation point. We won. Um, after I quit crying, I emailed my board and started making plans for the rest of the day, which was mostly doing interviews like this one. But when we hear, Troy, that the governor, the administration is saying, we'll let the Supreme Court decide, obviously it means they will appeal. W what do you do? What does your group do? What does your strategy become now? Uh, our strategy has not changed. We, um, we were excited. We celebrated for about five minutes and we went back to work. Uh, we, we've been saying for months that we're going to win marriage equality for every couple in New Jersey, either through litigation or legislation. This was the first victory in the first round of the, the litigation. Uh, but we still have a long way to go and we're, we're going to fight until we absolutely guarantee that every couple in the state of New Jersey can get married this year. As Whether that's through litigation or legislation, we're going to continue to fight on both fronts. Uh, Troy, as far as you can tell right now, this order apparently goes into effect uh, in October, in about three weeks, I believe, where the judge says the state officials have to start actually allowing uh, same-sex couples to marry. Do you know whether or not an injunction will be sought uh, by the state in the interim during the appeals process, or whether the, the marriage process can begin pending a final ruling by the Supreme Court? I would say that it's very likely they're going to attempt to get a stay or an injunction, um, but they have to prove irreparable harm that for the state. And I don't know how they can prove the state is going to be irreparably harmed by letting loving and committed couples get married in the state of New Jersey. So um, I think they've got a hard case to, to sell. And we hope that on October 21st, the state starts issuing marriage licenses, and we look forward to attending a whole lot of weddings on October 24th. In the meantime, will you continue the legislative efforts that you've been making to override the governor's veto? You've been picking up some key legislative support. Will that effort continue on your part? Absolutely. We, like I said, we celebrated for five minutes today and we got back to work. We're going to continue to fight in the legislature as this winds its way through the courts. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that by January of 2014, every couple in the state of New Jersey has the freedom to marry. All right. Troy Stevenson, we thank you very much, Troy Stevenson, from Garden State Equality on a day thank that you. was filled with history.